Question 12. Helen has 80 books to sell. I'm going to underline that. That looks important. Each book is either fiction or non-fiction. Ah, the ratio of fiction books to non-fiction books is 3 to 1. So that means there's three times as many fiction books. I quite like writing this. So I got fiction, non-fiction, and that's 3 to 1. Just want to summarise what we've got. Each book has a normal price of £10. Helen reduces the price of all of the non-fiction books. Non-fiction books, all books, are half price. OK, so that means they are £5. So write it down as you think about it. So they must be £5. Helen sells all the books. So work out the total amount of money that she receives. Well, she's got 80 books. She sells all 80 books. So how many of each type have we actually got? They're in a ratio of 3 to 1. Now, there's a number of different ways of doing this. Um, let's think about this. Let's say, well, 6 to 2, that would be the same, wouldn't it? That's exactly the same as 3 to 1. I've just doubled it. Hey, wait a minute. What about 60 to 20? That adds up to 80. I must have, or rather Helen must have, she must have 60 fiction books and 20 non-fiction books. So, how much money does she have? Well, she sells all of the fiction books for £10. So, 60 multiplied by 10. So, this is the fiction part. So, that's going to equal 600. And then we've got the non-fiction, so we know that there are 20 of those. 20 multiplied by, now wait a minute, Helen reduces, by, she, she reduced the price of all the non-fiction books. So she sold them all for £5. So multiply that by 5, 20 times 5 is 100. So... Work out the total amount of money that Helen will receive. She will receive £700. There we go. Now, this question is quite typical of GCSE questions. That actually, the maths isn't too tricky. It's just lots of information that you've got to make sense of, and you've got to read it very carefully.